What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition 12 box case pick pick teams number 11 just sold out. Remember, all cards ship. And let's rip. So, last break of the night, too, guys. We gotta sell out a team random to get this done, which we did. This is everybody's name there. So I will post up uh, case number 12 uh, later tonight when I'm done with this. Alright, and I'm going to rip the first six all together and then we'll go with the next six. Appreciate the fill, folks. Good rally here towards the end. Got the HTA done a little earlier today and then the hobby right here at the end. I love Pizzle to have the biggest break of his life because he has the Rays, and I feel like that could be one of those teams. Like I said, I have not seen any like better rookies autos for myself since like of oh, since like better than like Drew Ellis, honestly. I feel like I hit so much Drew Ellis. Now remember, they all have the same amount of numbered cards. It's just where are they? You know. Base, I can see that happening more, but but numbered. Yeah, so, see, they're out there, right? I, I just haven't seen any one of those, so... I mean, at least here with us, so far with me. I don't know, did Joe hit any, any bigger rookie autographs when he was breaking on Wednesday night? I wasn't really watching, so... I know he had a super fracture and stuff like that, but... The only thing I've been able to hit is, is a red base of, of O'Neal Cruz, and then obviously a couple of those Jackson Churillos. Gold and all that stuff, so... No Vaquero and stuff, but I have not hit any big rookies at all. So I'm trying to just kind of speak it into existence, honestly. I want it to happen.
Yeah, you, you, you didn't get bad teams. It's just obviously I, I personally haven't pulled any. I haven't seen much of those guys. And I pulled Wander Colors. I think I pulled Torquos in Colors, just not autographs. Mayor, I don't know if I pulled any of him, but... Obviously, I feel like we see more first than anything, so... But I guess I guess Tampa Bay also has first. All right, guys, here we go. Benya. All right, we got Dylan Carlson to start us off. Wal, uh, Won Bin Cho. It's the first auto. We got Yeti. How we got a Willie Finesse and for the Orioles, Greg Cullen to seventy five. The Dodgers Trey Turner. First auto is Daniel McLevany. First for the Red Sox going to Joe Pizzle. And Francisco Lindor for the Mets going to Sean Maddock. Christian Hernandez. And for the Nationals, Evan Lee. And another show to 50.
All right, Averson Ortega for the Giants. Share with that one. And Cade Marlowe to Yerlin, Refractor, and Samuel Zavala, the 250 purple, for the Padres, that is going to David. And we got a Roderick Arias for the Yankees. Now, that's just a one per box shimmer, but it's still a very nice one, though. Fourth box, I should say. Card stuck. Curtis Mead for TB. And Dalen decided not to sign his base autos. That's a redemption there. For the Nationals, going to Sean Maddock. Juan Soto. Edward Cabrera for the Marlins. That's a blue. All right, West Calf. Michael Burrows. All right, we got Lonnie White to 150. And we got a Willie Vasquez for TB Green Shimmer. Next one here. Jose Ramos. Willie Finas to four ninety nine for the Mets. Pico Armstrong, refractor. And a Tyler Collins to 25 for the Braves. Bill Norton with that one. Roberto Campos.
We got Willie Borgala, or Willem Borgala for the Phillies. Ken Vaughn with that one. And nice Jackson Merrow for the Padres. David with that. Dylan Carlson to four ninety nine. Willie Vasquez, that looks like a little orange gold number to 75. And Antonio Pinero, man, a little bit of a teaser. That is for the Brewers, David, to 250. Carson Williams. Oh, what's up, John? No problem, man. Um, yeah, just remember, though, uh, for those hit parades, we never actually pull all the full spots up. We always pretty much do, like, 12 full spots plus two fillers. So, what happens is, have you noticed that there's nine back in stock? That's just because I canceled the second filler. So now, if you'll look on the website, the filler says last one. And then um, the nine spots need to sell, basically. Kind of like a little bit of a mind trick. I feel like people will buy in more often when they see it at little spots left. And then we cancel a filler, and you know, and then it then it just uh, goes by a lot faster. Because we can't really predict what's gonna go faster. Sometimes the straight up spots sell faster. Sometimes the filler sell faster. So kind of like to have it half and half. So, that's what happened, basically. So, just remember to always look at the filler next next to it. So, if uh, if it says last one, then those are officially the last one plus whatever's left on the, on the website. If it showed, like, two left and it didn't say last one on the filler, then most likely we'd have to do multiple. Oh, no worries, man. That'll most likely go tomorrow. So basically all of our hit parades, baseball uh, and football, are kind of in the same boat where we just need to sell one filler in the straight up spots. The basketball one, we still need to sell six plus two fillers. So Chris, who's covering Joe tomorrow, what he would have to do is if those six spots sell overnight before he gets on air, if Nick hadn't already, he'll have to just cancel that second filler and then put the nine spots back in. We didn't have to do fillers. We would just uh, put all the spots out there, but sometimes fillers are needed. You guys are River Bowl gamblers sometimes. People would rather spend a third of the price in the 30s rather than 100 plus and win a spot for a fraction.
Bum bum banana banana banana. All right, guys, here we go. Ribbon the last six. I would love to, man. I've hit like seven different reds already. Definitely do for one of those. Too early for that, man. I want to talk about depth. How about the 76ers? They have all their main players out, and they're still winning. Or at least winning some games. Well, it depends, Rex. I mean, it depends on who they're going up against. But when you have, like, Embiid, Harden, Maxi, like, all of your main starters out, like, we're not just talking one starter, two starters. We're talking, like, multi. <laughs> like, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, that's right. Go Thunder. F them. <laughs> F the Pizzle. 
No, I actually didn't even watch the game. They lost to the Rockets today. That's one thing I do, I do hate about being in LA is that they... I mean, just in general, there's really not that much Thunder coverage right now. They're at that time where they're, they're obviously just get the minimum uh, national coverage, but... I think SGA probably had a baller night tonight. Let's take a look. Uh, they lost by 13, but SGA again. 32 points. Giddy 18. Wiggins off the bench, 15. Oh, man, we have a lot of injuries. Injuries. Muscala didn't play. Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, he's their best player, Pizzo, by far. There's other players that have great games, you know, every other game, but SGA is just, this season, is, he's just balling out consistently every single night. He's still averaging 31 points a game, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, and 30, shooting almost 36% from the 3. I mean, look, besides the Memphis game... He was on a tear. 37, 37, 42, 30, 30, 32, and 32. <laughs> That's alright, though. The game is the, the season is still pretty early. It's still young in this season, anyways. Plus, I don't expect the Thunder to be a very big playoff team, anyways. Even if... They yeah, might not even make it again. But, uh... We'll see. Sal Frillick. I know, the fact that the Lakers won, first of all, and then they won like 140-something to 130-something was amazing. Uh, Emmanuel Valdez for the Astros. Oswar Garcia. And we have a John Rhodes. To 250 for the Orioles. Aaron Billingsley. We got Byron Buxton. Eli De La Cruz. We got Jason Morabel. Drew Baker for TV refractor to four ninety nine, and Simon Mozialti.
Wander Franco rookie. We have a Eloy Jimenez gold. And Alexander Ovalis. That is a speckled gold to 50 for Tampa Bay. It's going to Joe Pizzo. It's a nice looking card. First, Mike Cole Hernandez. And again, I only hit Drew Ellis. I swear to God. He's like the only rookie I hit in every case. Man, this guy must have signed way more golds and way more colors than everybody else. Or we just got the shipment of all the Diamondback autos. That's Paul Kovacs. Or Kovacs, sorry. I swear, dude. I, I always hit him. Like, that's the only dude I hit rookie-wise. Ooh. Ooh, wow, no way. Roderick Arias, that is a red shimmer to five. That's probably a pretty big card. Three out of ten, though. Actually, probably not to five, actually, to ten. Oh, I thought that would be out of five. Maybe the shimmers are actually out of ten now? Well, who cares, though? Very nice. Joe Speckle. We got Andy Thomas. We got Jordan Walker. No problem, Randall. Thanks for buying in, buddy. Marcelo Mayer, that's a nice purple there. It's 250 to Pizzle and the Red Sox. And for the Dodgers, Gavin Stone to 299 Speckle. Brandon Marsh, Refractor. Alrighty, guys. Two more boxes left. Here we go. Jose Ramos to 150. And we got Ian Lewis. Whoa, let's sign right over there. Let's sign right next to his crotch. Come on, man. Uh, Jordan Walker. And a Bowman Ascension, Khalil Watson. We got a Ricardo Cabrera. And Barossa for the D-backs. Cal Rally. Blaze Jordan. Andrew Mendes. We 
You got George Kirby for the Mariners. Wow, another one of this dude. Jesus. Getting sick and tired of Jarellis already. Nice though for you, Paul, but man. Sorry, he's the only rookie auto I hit. I mean, is Drew Ellis, like, good, Pizzle, or no? Like, should I just... Am I, do I have a valid reason to be like that? <laughs> I mean, he is in the league, I'm not, but... folks well there you go guys that was the break ended up still being pretty solid but we we're looking for a little bit more um but here you go quick little recap here some base speckle auto base base refractor green blue purple redemption finesse orange to 25 of tyler collins was pretty nice uh and then here towards the end Regular Shimmer, Ascension, Red Shimmer. I thought this was out of five, but I guess they're out of ten. Drillis Gold, and then a Gold, Alexander Duvalis. So, there you go, folks. That was the break. Um, appreciate it, guys. This was Pikachu number 11. Um, number 12 should be in the store soon. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.